Welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Carly Oleksik. Recently, the North Carolina Turnpike Authority tested a vehicle with advanced driver assistance technology on the Triangle Expressway. This is part of our commitment to safety and staying on the forefront of this emerging technology. The Turnpike Authority spent 30 hours of drive time in a Cadillac CT6 with Super Cruise. NCTA partnered with General Motors, who provided the opportunity to test a vehicle with advanced driver assistance features. It's known as the industry's first hands-free and feet-free driving technology for the highway. The car's cameras and GPS sensors govern steering, braking, and acceleration. When Super Cruise is engaged, the driver still has to keep their eyes on the road. One of the features of the vehicle is a sensor that detects when you take your eyes off the road. The Turnpike Authority tested the vehicle to see how it worked with the tolling technology on the Triangle Expressway and to research how the advanced safety features reacted to highway conditions. The Turnpike Authority wanted to evaluate how one of the vehicles performed on the Triangle Expressway in conjunction with our tolling operations as well as to see how the vehicle interacted with other motorists on a facility in North Carolina. On a similar note, transportation leaders from across the state met in Raleigh last week to unveil the North Carolina Department of Transportation's Public Transportation Strategic Plan. This is a framework for setting priorities and strengthening partnerships to improve urban and rural transit service. With a vision of connecting North Carolinians to opportunities, the plan recommends expanding local and regional commuter services and outlines ways to focus transit spending. And while you may not think of technology as a component of public transportation, it's an important piece in preparing for the future. For example, one idea being proposed at North Carolina State University is EcoPRT. With the help of an NCDOT grant, students are working to develop an ultralight and low-cost transit system that uses autonomous two-person cars that drive on an elevated railing system similar to a monorail. This technology could help alleviate road congestion and help address mobility needs for citizens. And that's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, you can stay connected with us on Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. You can also follow us on Snapchat and Instagram at NCDOTcom. And from all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.